in this video we will learn how we can set up shipping rates on our website here you can see let's say if a user buys product less than rupees 300 INR 300 then he needs to pay a shipping cost of rupees 50 so how we can set it here you can see go to store settings here you can see some options are visible on the left you can see a shipping option is visible click on shipping now here you can see the shipping options are visible right now only free shipping option is visible but we need to add a flat rate so we will add a flat rate service click on it here you can see you need to, need to add the title as well as the display title which would be visible to the users like shipping cost shipping expense here you can add the description also which would be visible here is the base rate so let's add the title description and the base rate So here you can see we have set the title as shipping cost which would be visible to the administrator only. Here is a, here is a display title which would be visible to the user like shipping, shipping expense. Here is a description which would be visible that paid shipping for total order amount less than 300 INR. So if the product purchased by user cost less than 300 then the shipping cost base rate would be 50 rupees that is 50 INR. So after doing the changes click on save flat rate. So here you can see the flat rate has been saved. Here you can see the second one shipping cost is visible. Here the description is also visible. So now we will we will configure it by clicking on configure component. Click on it. Here you can see some settings are visible that for what conditions do you want to add. So here we will add condition. So click on add condition. So here you can see here we need to add a new condition here we need to select the condition you can select any condition you can check that if you want to go for text comparisons or if you want to go for any other comparison like if you want to go for list count comparison like if there are more than five products available then you, you can include that but right now we only need data comparison so we will click on continue on clicking continue here you can see the data to compare value is visible. Here we need to select the data selector for order amount so click on it. Now you can see the some options are visible here we will select commerce order because we want to go for commerce order amount. Now you can see the subsets are visible. Now we will click on order total. So here you can see after selecting order total here you can see the total amount section is visible and if you remember we want to go for the total amount then click on total amount because if you want to add a shipping option for the total amount if the total amount is less than 300 then there would be a base INR cost for shipping that would be 50 rupees. So here you can see we have set the values now we will click on continue. Now here you can see the set settings are visible here we need to add the value the comparison operator. Here you can see if the value is less than 300 lower than 300 then there would be a cost of 50 rupees for shipping. Now you can see the we have added the values. Now we need to click on switch to the direct input mode. Now here you can see we have reached the section to add a value. Here we will add 300 INR because we want a value less than 300 INR for a base rate of 50 INR shipping. So let's add it. So here you can see after doing the changes after adding a value you just have to click on save. As you can see the changes have been saved. So we have added a data comparison for paid shipping. So if the total amount of the products purchased by a user is less than 300 then there will be a paid shipping of rupees 50. So now we will also go for settings for free shipping which would be if there if the total is more than 300 then there would be free shipping. For that go to the settings again store settings here you can see the sections are visible on the left you can go to shipping. 
now you can see the shipping section is visible now you can see the shipping cost section is visible which we have just added that was paid shipping so now we will configure components for free shipping here you can see the configure component option is visible click on it so now we will set the condition for free shipping click on add condition here you can see we will select the same option data comparison because we are comparing the total amount here now you can see the same settings are visible here we will keep the cursor and you can see the same options are visible now we'll select commerce order now the next setting would be total amount because we are focusing on the total amount right now so after doing the changes click on continue here you can see data to compare values are visible now we have to select the value here we will go for greater than because we want the total to be greater than 300 for free shipping if you remember while going for paid shipping we selected lower than so after doing the changes switch to the direct input mode click on it here you can see the settings are visible here we need to add the value so here i'll add 300 that is greater than 300 so i'll add it So here you can see I have added a value of 300. Now I'll click on save. Here you can see our changes have been saved. The data comparison is now available for free shipping as well. So in this video we learned how we can set shipping rates for total order amount less than as well as greater than 300. Thank you for watching.